Our venue, the prestigious Nanjing Olympic Park, sports park, Nanjing, the capital of China's eastern Jiangsu province, with a resident population more than 8.3 million inhabitants. Knockout draws continuing today across all five disciplines, running all the way to Sunday's climatic finals. And as always, competitors coming from all over the world to showcase their talents and contest this coveted event with the very best badminton Players locking horns, wrestling for supremacy. All of the title contenders safely through yesterday. 359 athletes from 49 nations across five events showcasing their talents. The stage is set for the world's best to do battle for top honors here in Nanjing in China. Located just 300 kilometers up the Yangtze River from the capital, Shanghai. And there's sure to be some captivating matches this week to capture the global attention. And what a generous, exciting 12-match schedule we have for you on day two, court two. First up, we have a women's singles match to whet your appetite between uh, Bewin Zhang, the 12th seed, against Chloe Birch of England. And then, uh, arguably, the front-runner for the men's singles title, the sixth seed, Kento Momota, taking on Artem Pocharov from the Ukraine. Eighth match on with the European Queen, twice world champion of 2014 and 15, Karolina Marin, vying for a round of 16 spot. She takes on Busnan Omban Rungfan, who will emerge to round three there and keep their Nanjing title bid alive. Of course, this is one of five courts in action through day two. And there is all of the action we will bring you today. Vitingus, the Dane, up last in that men's singles against Kai Schaefer of Germany. That should be a cracker as well. So plenty to feast on Babington fans on day two from court two here in Nanjing, the BWF Total World Championships. So we're awaiting the walking on of the athletes then. And, uh, well... We've got women's singles action first. That'll be, as I said before, an Anglo-American second round clash. The 12th seed in action, Baywin Zhang of the United States of America takes on unseeded Chloe Birch from England, playing off her career high of 50th in the world. What an atmosphere it is in here, really crackling already. Still early doors, only 10 o'clock local time here in Nanjing. And uh, our athletes just walking on to court one, adjacent to ours, right beside them. So that's where we are in the draw. Biwin Zhang, 12th seed from the States now, up against Chloe Birch. And of course, the winner of this one will take on the heady challenge, possibly if the top seed comes through safely, in Tai Tzu Ying, at the very top of the women's singles draw. So big opportunity for both. Here is. Uh, match competitors led out. Beiwen Zhang just waving. Out first, the 12th seed from the States, and behind her, Chloe Birch from Great Britain in uh, the black dress. First meeting between these two. Top 16 seeds, of course, received the bye, so for Beiwen Zhang, it's her first match. And well, she's had quite an itinerant upbringing, has Beiwen Zhang, the un a unique background, being born in China, then she moved to Singapore at the age of 13 and playing with the Singapore national team until 2012, when she then moved to the United States to compete whilst training in Las Vegas for the last five years or so. So she has been very well-traveled from a young age, the lady. Spearmint, I would call that color. She'll be nervous, first match, having had the bye, always a toughie up against the player in Chloe Birch that had a win yesterday. A 
very encouraging win for the English player. She dug herself out of a couple of mid-game tussles. So the formalities begin. The housekeeping, the spin of the coin with our umpire today. So Chloe Birch won the toss and elected to stay the near end to our main camera. So it's a quick uh, change round with the kick bags. Well, good win yesterday for Chloe, but she took out Spain's Beatrice Cavales, scrambling from 2.17, oh, sorry, 12.17 down, 15.19 down in the second game to finish victory, 21.17, 21.19. She, by her own admission, said it was a little bit up and down, said Chloe Birch. I started off really well, playing the conditions. Had to stick to the game plan. And she got a little bit nervous at the end, so uh, fine win for her in the end. Scalping Corrales, who I believe is ranked 39. Chloe Birch off the career high of 50 in the world. But let's take a look at this young lady playing under the uh, American banner right now. Ewen Zhang, 28 years old, ranked 13th, seeded 12th here. Born in Liaoning province in China, has been as high as a top 10 player. Knocking on the door there, she uh, breached that, and broke through at number nine in the world. Did Baywin? She trains in Las Vegas. She's a very consistent player, but she will have her work cut out today because Chloe Birch is playing off of a career high ranking of 50th. And she's had good showings at the Commonwealth Games, the European Championships recently, so she's up for it. And uh, she says she's far more trusting about the way that she competes these days. And hopefully all that will carry through this round as well. But this is a very tough ask. And we don't know what we're going to be seeing here, neither do these two athletes, because it's their first ever crossing of swords. Always tricky. Chloe, age 22, from Preston, northwest in England, resides in Milton Keynes these days, her training base. One meter 68 tall. 15 wins this year, only 10 losses. Played 18 tournaments. For the finals of the European Championship, she lost to Mia Blitzfeld there. And, well, it was a three game tough match. An hour long it lasted. So she's also had seven round of 16 showings this year, Chloe. So she's had a good, good season. And, uh, well, her last round of 16 was at the recent Singapore Open, where she beat Zhang Yiman, ranked 39th, and then lost out to Jindapol the second ago. She's playing doubles here with Jess Pugh, and they are ranked 29th between them in that event. So she's very much a player on the up, is Chloe. Strong athlete. Looking forward to seeing how this one pans out because Beowen Zhang, very well known for being steady, very consistent. Oh, Malaysia. Play. Well, I guess we anticipate that Beowen Zhang will be a little. One. Tense, as we said, coming here, opening match, just getting used to the court, the surroundings. Start from Chloe Birch. Oh. Rather nervous in contrast Three, is one. Chloe Wen Zhang. It's kind of the downside, I guess, of having a buy in the opening round for the seeds. That's missed as well. 
Chloe will be delighted at this stage. Just a little breathing room of three points for the English player. Played, closed the net down quickly there. She had a good win yesterday, as I say. It was a 45-minute match, the win over Beatrice Corrales. 21-17, 21-19. Found the line there as well. And in that match against Corrales, she overcame a 1-3 head-to-head deficit coming through. 42 points to 36, so fairly emphatic in the end, despite a bit of a struggle in the opening phases or the mid-game tussles, I should say. But more importantly, she spent time on this court yesterday, and that is serving her well right now. She seems far more settled. Eight, two. This would be a really illustrious scalp for her if she could somehow wriggle past Bao Zhang. Still very early doors, of course, but you start to get excited when you see the scoreboard like this, if you're an English fan. Uh, bit of a grimace after that point for Bobby Chloe, Bobber. having left that one. Three, a misjudgment. So a good solid point from Bewen Zhang, a lot more like we're used to seeing from the familiar high percentage play of the American. Well played, Chloe Birch, keeping her opponent peg, pegged back towards the back line. But you sense a, an increasing fluency from Zhang. She's starting to settle and looking increasingly Nine, dangerous. Three. Long extended rally, that one, but the English player coming through. So, looking good in the early phases then, Chloe Birch here. Super play. How about Tommy that? Over. Ten. Four. High skill level there. Terrific point. Both players Bobby having to work Bobber. very, very hard for that one. Five, ten. A sparkling Bobby start Bobber. from Chloe Birch. She it's heads to the mid-game interval, 11-5 to the good. She'll be delighted with that off. She's not back there forwards, which is great. 
So she's not pressing you forward, she's not pressing you backwards. You're in control. You're going to force on your parents. Encouraging words from Anthony Clark, Chloe's coach. Strong start from her. Must stay calm and just keep doing what she's done so far. Five. Nothing fancy, doesn't need to overpress, was the Play. advice. Good leave. Still, Bewin Zhang. All at sea. Terrific reverse slice from Zhang. Taking all the speed out of that, dropped like a stone. Ah, just trying to force the play a little. An error spills from the English woman. A rare. Unforced error. And I guess the question on English fans' lips is, does Chloe really believe she can scalp this 12th seed? Three in a row for the American. So both players with a run of four consecutive points. Chloe just wanting to step off stage, asked to re-engage pretty quickly by the Chinese umpire. So a run of five points then, and Zhang really chunking away at this deficit. Well played, stops the rock, does Chloe Birch there with a fine shot. 13, 11. Terrific slice. So as she drops to the deck, it means the court attendant is on, temporarily uh, suspending play for mere seconds. Players coaxed back onto court pretty promptly by the Chinese umpire. Always keen to... Keep proceedings 14, moving 11. pretty quickly. 14-11, the lead for Chloe Birch. Lost her way mid-game, but now she seems refocused. Great counter block there. 15-11. Good lead. Great judgment, good spatial awareness from Chloe Birch. 16, 11. That's fine play, and just when you sense that the American was coming back 11. to 12, 11, Chloe Birch has accelerated away again with a run of five points. Eighteen, eleven. Well, she won't be pushing the panic button quite yet, Berwin Jack, a lady of vast experience. Uh, a misjudgment the there from Chloe. Twelve, <laughs> will be a little... Embarrassed at that one when she sees it back. 
three points away from the opening game, the English woman. Just spilling over the back line there. It was a terrific point, very 13, high tempo. 18. Chloe insistent on mixing it up so, so well. Chloe? Great return of serve. Tommy Thober, 19, 13. Defensive 20, lift away there. Point, 13. So they will be chuffed at this stage. Seven game point opportunities for England's Chloe Birch. Game. Only needs one of them. 21 13. 13. Chloe Birch, Birch takes the opening game. 13. Just 12 minutes played. yesterday by you just being ridiculously solid and her making all the errors. She's trying to force the lines again to beat you, yeah? yeah. Beowin Zhang in 2016. Zhang represented Vencisel Elite Badminton Club in Skagen, Denmark. Went on to reach the final of the BWF Super Series French Open, losing out to Hair Bing Zhao. In 2018, she won her first BWF World Tour title at the Indian Open. Here we are then, start of game two. Can Beowin Zhang turn this around, or can Chloe Birch see this off in straight games? for a berth in the round of 16. Well, we saw some nervous errors from the start okay, good from the American. But the English woman is playing some terrific badminton. The 22-year-old who hails from Preston is really on it, looking very, very focused. Bei Wen Zhang knows that she has to come out of the blocks very, very early in this game with some super solid badminton. Nothing else will cut it today. Excellent play from Chloe Birch. Flat hard drives from the top draw. She was briefed by her coach Anthony Clark to keep punching deep, sending her opponent away. Get her to the back line, keep her away from the net. No call from the line. Oh, yes, there is. It was wide. Good pace on that attack. Tommy Thorburn, three, two. 
Zhang, an opponent who, as I said earlier, just had taken the Indian Open World Tour title this year. Very strong player. And in taking that title, she defeated the host player and defending champion, Pasalavi Sindhu. 22-20, 23rd game. Super solid from the English woman. Five, two. Laser like finish with the smash down the line. Look at this, just absolutely pulled the trigger. Oh. Zhang, no ordinary opponent. She's a 28 year old, five foot six. Jason Bourne of badminton. Over. Broke the top 10 last August, ranked ninth in the world. Player of real stature and decoration already. Terrific showing from Chloe Birch so far. Can it continue? Thank you. Still with the slender lead of two points in this second game. Three, five. Four, five. Reset suggests uh, Anthony Clark, coach, English coach at the back of the court. That's gone as well, just a little wide, a very tightly contested Five. point. Oh. This is high tempo stuff right now. This is tough on Zhang. She can't play expansive badminton. She can't take real major risks at this stage because she's trailing that opening game. So she has to be high percentage. Snap off the backhand, set it up. Another super point from Chloe Birch. Seven, five. Look at that, that was the one that did the damage. Just rifles that one back towards her opponent. She is power laden. Zhang, what is going through her mind at this stage against this very tough English opponent? Spreading the court so nicely, Chloe Birch. Nine, five. Zhang's going to desperately try and find another gear right now. She's just being outwitted and outclassed. That's gone as well. Her head must be spinning Five. like a washing machine right now. These are anxious moments. Over. Six, ten. But she's a scrapper. We know that. She's tenacious, feisty. She'll be digging deep right now. Forced error. It's Chloe Birch who heads to the change. 11 6 to the good with another fine start to game two.
does she believe? Chloe Birch of England with a very fine showing out here on day two, court two Eleven against six. the heralded decorated seed in Beiwin Zhang. Oh, terrific point from Zhang, despite valiant efforts from Chloe Birch with the full-length dive, unable to save the shuttle on that occasion. It was a lung-busting, gruelling rally. Fine finish from Zhang. Thank you. One thing, we've got a little bit of a, perhaps a, is that a blood wound? No, she's okay. Just toweling down. Over. Seven, 11. Coaches won't allow her to start future pacing right now. She's got to keep her mind on one shuttle at a time. Jank raising the bar. Eight, 11. Two consecutive points since the turn for the American. Well, a challenge spurned out of desperation. You sense it did seem wide to me. You know, hard from here to see it, but that will give Beiwen Zhang a little time to regroup, if nothing else. She's won two from the last three points, even if this is called out. Yeah, it is quite a way. But certainly the challenge might be unsuccessful, but her level of challenge and intensity has ratcheted up. Good forcing smash straight down the line 10, from Zhang. 12. Chloe has to keep punching deep, keeping Zhang away from that net where she's pretty good. Well done. So it's over. Just because we're playing a different game, don't slow down. Clarkie barking out the orders to Chloe Birch. Just tipped it on the way through. She was thinking of leaving it, but uh, unable to take a racket out the way quick enough. So Zhang secures another. Chloe Birch has to keep the intensity of footwork up because Zhang has uh, visually raised the intensity and that has gone wide as well. Delight breaks out on court one as the top seeds come through their mixed doubles from China. Zhang and Huang looking good. shot from Jan. Precision strike, finding the line. She's had to really go to the trenches today and dig very, very deep against an opponent that she's never faced before. She'll be aware of Chloe Birch, of course she will. All these players do their homework. They're entirely professional, them and their teams. This is high-level fare out here. 
deadlock, game two, 13 all. Just missing. 14. Struck it well. 14. But such are the margins at this, the highest level of world badminton. Zhang is starting to tease out a few errors from the English woman. Breaks to the front for the first time in the match. That's missed. Giving Chloe Birch a bit of a lifeline. It's over. 14, 15. Come on, strong. Well, she's like a float in the swimming pool, isn't she? You can sort of put your foot on her, try and keep her down, but she always pops up, Zhang. Such character, the 12th seed. That's gone. Well played, Chloe Birch. Great dig. 15 all. Just wants the court tended to. Chance to grab a breather. Quick towel down. For Chloe, who is showing outstanding elastic athleticism here. She has been working so hard from the off, settled far better. Rolling with the momentum and just working so hard at trying to keep this really tough competitor under wraps at arm's length. Point. How about that for turning a point around from Zhang Bewin? Amazing. Point of the match so far. Outstanding control. Bewin Zhang was out of it on the floor at one stage mid rally. Has she found it? Yes, she has. She's found the line commendably. All credit to the American. That is top badminton. One talent remaining. So it's over. So, Beowin Zhang breaks to the front again in this must-win game for the American. Good squeeze from Chloe Birch, injected with that little extra chili on that smash. Having to bring her very best right now, nothing else will cut it. She knows that. She's just about to say so utterly focused, but he's missing the smash kill there. That's a wounder. How will she respond? Will it contaminate the next point or can she flush it away? Fantastic reverse slice from Bei Wen Zhang. 18, 16. You have to admire the tenacity of this lady. A 28 year old from the States now. Only just missed. That is cruel. Such a 19, brave effort. 16. Perhaps some would say a little low percentage. She's paying a price for that right now. 
Zhang with a three-point cushion here. Spot. Super smash. 20, game point, 16. Four game points for Bei Win Zhang to draw level. She has played an excellent second game, and she's needed to, been asked a lot of questions. Over half an hour played, but it's been high octane, high intensity stuff. Fine return and third strike from Chloe Birch. And there it is, Bei Wen Zhang fights back. 21-18, she secures the second game, so it's going to be a one-game shootout then to decide this opening women's singles on day two. She's got a quality of length a lot better. That's all right. So it's just one set though, Glenn. Yeah, that's all it is. What's happened in the past is gone. She's got one set of amateur. Keep the quality you had. Yeah? Let's do it. Come on. words there from Anthony Clark how the length of shot from Beiwen Zhang has markedly improved here we are then the start of game number three the deciding nervous nail-biter who's going to come through this one it's been a really intriguing watch so far Chloe Birch much improved the 22 year old from Preston initially resides in Milton Keynes now Spent a lot of time training in the national program over the years. She's been national champion in women's Final singles. Level. Has she got what it takes to Play. come through this one? Against the 12th seed. Beiwen Zhang, take your hat off to her. She is playing some masterful badminton right now, really driving these points and yanking Chloe Birch from corner to corner. It's been a grueling physical match for the 22-year-old from England. She's doing well to sustain this level of intensity. She's under a lot of physical pressure out there now because Zhang has just really upped the level visibly in front of us. And she will be buoyed by the fact that she has recent momentum, having taken that second game. Strong start in the third from her as well. What can Chloe Birch find just to try and attempt to swing this around? What a finalist at the European Championships. That'll be in the back of her mind. She's done well this year, playing off the career high ranking of 50th. That, a fine straight smash. Is this where it starts for Birch?
from India, Paul Attara. All the hours on the practice court, all the hard yards run, all the training done. There's been no stone unturned for both of these athletes. This is really grueling badminton. over two, four. assisted by the Three, net four. from English fans' perspective there, that return error from Liu Zhang. Oh, she's just spilt over the back line. Over. Five, three. So Zhang has a run of four points this game. Chloe Birch, three. It tends to be like that this match. It's been going in clusters all the way. Just wilting, you sense, at the end of another Six, tough rally. Quick. But this is the tempo that Chloe Birch needs to live Long. at Quick, in match play on a regular basis because you sense she's so improved. If she could find a way through this, then you think she'd just jump to the next level. It would do her confidence the world of good. Bei Wen Zhang, well, play. she has. Tour title to her name already, the Indian Open. We spoke of that earlier. She just looks a little bit more assured in these big moments. A little bit more poised and balanced. Seven, three. Four-point cushion for the 12th seed now. Who's been under siege throughout from the English player. Terrific point. Great Coming deception. Well played. Two in a row for Chloe Birch. Trying her utmost Five. to pull this scoreline around her way. Oh, good leave from Beiwen Zhang. It just spills over the back line by a centimetre or so. Just playing with more precision, marginally at the moment. Nine, five. How much do you believe? Missed. Line jet. Line jet. Well, there's been a subdued atmosphere around the court for quite a while now. People curious, observing keenly, quietly. So it's over.
found the line. It's a beautiful straight smash from Bei Wen Zhang. Ten. Timely Eight. as well. She wants to get to that mid-game interval with the marginal lead. There's no doubting that. She has really played well to turn this around. It's not like Chloe Birch has played any different, really. It's just that Bei Zhang has upped the level and brought her best. 11-6, the American heads to the turn with the upper hand. Increasingly, like this 28-year-old uh, from the States will emerge unscathed. Oh, that's an amazing point from both athletes. Chloe Birch, full length dive, saves the point, sustains the effort, does well, but that back behind just a little too much. Such precision from the 12th seed here, who has just done so well. She's been under the cosh throughout, and to turn that second game and then keep the upper hand here is just so commendable. Pressure mounting on Chloe Birch now. It's been a grueling morning for her. Six. And it's not like she's dropped her level at all. She's just been asked increasingly difficult questions. Good forcing play. Yeah, closes so quickly. Over. Oh, well, that was the earlier run of four consecutive points for Bei Wen Zhang in this third game. Well played, good hustling from Chloe Birch. Yeah, the, the run of four points earlier in the game have sort of uh, laid down a really solid platform from her to work from, and now she seems just a little bit more expansive, a bit more cavalier and pioneering in what she's doing. She's looking more confident, more assured now. But if nothing else, this younger English woman will take a lot of confidence from this to be able to stay with the best. 16, eight. Top 15 player in the world, and Chloe Birch is living with her toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's been a really intriguing watch, this. Just missed wide with that one has Seven, Chloe Birch, but eight. credit to Bei Wen Zhang, just robust under pressure. Eighteen eight. Well, perhaps. 
perhaps wanting an out from the point a little too early there. Who knows what was going through her mind with that decision, but it only just missed. So a 10-point cushion here for Bei Wen Zhang in this deciding game. Chloe Birch showing such a discipline and application right now. This is just so commendable. on head moment there not very happy with herself for that miss Played. Wonderfully engineered rally from Chloe Birch. 19. Not done with this yet. Good, such a great rally to watch. Over 20 match point 13. Seven match points for Bei Win Zhang now. Two match points saved by Chloe Birch. 15, 20, 10. Yeah, when Jang takes her time. Can she hold on? It's a massive ask. Oh, she's closing that down to secure the win, has Bewin Zhang. And that, a fine win at that. 13-21, 21-18, 21-15 for Bewin Zhang. She prevails in a punishing clash in her opening match, having had the bye in that first round. So she's through to the round of 16 is the American Bei Win Zhang in a very tough match. A terrific performance from England's Chloe Birch. There's confirmation of that scoreline. Zhang's come through. 21-15 in that third game in some style. Really under pressure from the English woman. But uh, Chloe Birch will go away with taking a lot of confidence from that showing against the 12th seed here. What a great match that was to watch. Compliments to both.